What the fuck, Kojima? Seriously. What the fuck is this bullshit? Ground Zeroes. A $30 tech demo. This is the future of gaming. We're going to be paying for demos now. According to Kojima. Uh, I am I am so fucking disappointed with you Kojima. I What the fuck is wrong with you, man? What the fuck were you thinking doing this shit? What the hell? Literally, this could have been the beginning of Phantom I don't see why this could not have been the beginning of Phantom Pain. God damn it. This is this is bullshit. $30 for ground zero. That is ridiculous. 20 even $20 digitally is ridiculous. It's a demo. It's a demo that gives you a little tease of what the Phantom Pain is going to be like, except instead of it being free, it's $30! Or $20 for digital. And you know how long it took me to beat Ground Zeroes? One hour and 15 minutes. One hour and 15 minutes and I just want to put this out here I didn't buy the game I played it at a friend's house and I did play the entire game he paid $30 on this for his Xbox one 30 fucking dollars for an hour and 15 minute game what in the hell is wrong with you people and yes, this game is amazing in terms of graphics. It's one of the best looking games I've ever fucking seen. The way the, the, the environment is designed feels next gen. The way the rain pours down and you, it creates this really gritty, awesome atmosphere to it. It's the tactical espionage that I really like about Metal Gear. And Kiefer Sutherland, he does a good job of Snake, even though you barely hear him in this game. Barely. Because why? Because this is a tech demo. It's a tech demo. $30 tech demo that you could easily find on any floor at E3, Tokyo Game Show, PAX, uh, just any place you could, you could have, if this had been a demo at E3, which it was, it was a demo at Tokyo Game Show. This is the same thing. If this, uh, fuck this crap. Like it's like oh, it's 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 so much replayability. There's all these side missions. Yeah, stupid side missions. Boring side missions, half-assed, lazy side missions, and what's this replayability? It's not like you're going anywhere else in the world. You're just staying in this one prison camp. It's all you're doing. You're not. It, it's like. It's like I compare this to like the Bandit Town level in The Last of Us. Imagine if that was priced as as thirty dollars, except it was cut in half. It was like an hour of that for $30. Yes, it's fun. Yes, the, the gameplay is nice. But $30 for this, for an hour. I cannot believe this shit. And people, I am, I'm, I am disgusted by these people coming out and going, well, that's, that's okay, it's Metal Gear. It's $30 for a tech demo, that's all right. Because it's Metal Gear. Fuck that shit. Fuck if it's Metal Gear. Fuck if it's made by Hideo Kojima. If this was... I swear to God, if you took Metal Gear off the box, 
and just released it. Here's a tactical espionage game for $30. Imagine the response people would have. They would be outraged. They wouldn't put up with this shit. But no, it's Metal Gear. Oh my god, I instantly forgive it because it's Metal Gear. I cannot believe these goddamn game publishers. I cannot take any of these journalists seriously. They give this game, like, a great score. They call it great, amazing, it's such a fabulous game. What? What? What is this? They're giving the same scores that they gave to higher, even, to scores to stuff like... Assassin's Creed 4, Saints Row 4, Last of Us, Bioshock Infinite, yes, even Grand Theft Auto 5. That provides so much content for $60. So much money, even, even less. Let's look at the DLC that's come out over the past couple years. Uh, the downloadable packs for Grand Theft Auto 4, The Lost of the Dam, $20. Uh, Battle of Gay Tony, $20. Both are pretty much full feature games that are a third of the regular price, but offer more, substantial more, than what normally comes in a $60 package. Undead Nightmare, I remember it being either $10 or $15. That was way longer than this. Ten dollars for this. Let's look at what the season pass for The Walking Dead Wolf Among Us have been. Twenty, fifteen, twenty dollars. You get at least ten hours of content when all of those episodes come out. And you get it at a discount than what you would do for buying it individually. What the fuck? What the fuck? What is Kojima thinking? With this, this this is the birth of a new fucked up game, and I had to, I had to talk about um, with a friend today. Just today, I was talking with a friend about this, who's who I we were talking about, you know, whose fault it and how we're in this nasty ass trend in gaming where where developers are giving us less and less, and just we the consumers are eating this shit up like Oreo pudding. So the de the developers go, oh. They'll pay for that little amount of content. They'll pay so much for that little amount of content. Well, fuck it. Let's do it more. Save on resources. And that makes me sad. That is a reason why the, the death of gaming could be a possibility with this kind of attitude, with this kind of mindset in the future. And I cannot believe this crap is coming from Hideo Kojima, who, a man who I respect the hell out of. I think he is one of the only guys to really take the game, video game seriously. One of those big name guys. He's a champion for cinematic interactivity. Where he understands that, that video games can have complex stories and characters and themes. and can make you think and feel. It can depress you. It can outrage you. It can do all these kinds of things. It can match and even the top the best of what Hollywood has to offer. Hideo Kojima is a man who I deeply respect for this, which depresses and saddens me and disgusts me that this kind of crap is coming from him. 30, this could have easily been the beginning of Snake Eater or Sons of Liberty or Guns of the Patriots or Peace Walker. It's like, he included this with Phantom Pain and then said, oh, well, I want more money or I need to finance my new house or something. He broke off the first hour of Phantom Pain, released it as its own thing, and got people to pay $30 for it or $20 for it for an hour of gameplay. Fuck you. And it just, it pisses me the fuck off. To see all these people suck, kneeling down and sucking on the dick of Kojima. Just sucking that dick going, oh, it's, uh, it's okay, Kojima. Uh, it's 30, uh, it's dollars. It's, uh, it's all right. Uh, uh. It's not all right. I refuse to get on my knees and suck the proverbial dick that a lot of people seem to be doing right now. It disgusts me. 
And you know what? If this had, if, if imagine if this had come, I'm gonna compare this. If this had happened with something like Kingdom Hearts Three coming out, if they had broken off the first hour of Kingdom Hearts Three, sold it as Kingdom Hearts. 2.75, I'd be making the exact same rant about that that I'm doing right now! I wouldn't be sucking uh, Tetsu Nomura's dick! I'd be mad as fuck that I had to pay $30 for an hour of Kingdom Hearts when I could have, when we could have waited another year for this shit! But no! And you know this is gonna be successful. It's Metal Gear. People love Metal Gear. I like Metal Gear a lot. I'm not gonna pre-order this shit. I've seen this shit. So many people pre-ordering this game. Oh, it has Raiden in it. Oh, it has Classic Snake in it. So? So what? $30. So what? And when this game be- I hope to God this game is not successful, I hope. Oh my God, please, please, if you have pre-ordered this game, if you are thinking of buying it, don't buy it. Don't buy it. Do you want more companies to start doing this? To like, do you want the Final Fantasy 15 guys to break off the first hour of their game? Release it as a, a, a totally different title? And have you paid $30 for it? No! Do you want the guys making Witcher 3 to break off the first hour of their game, put it in a different game and say, oh, here we go, $30. It's a tease for what's coming next. No! You wouldn't want that. Imagine, oh, ooh, get this. Imagine if Valve did this with Half-Life 3. They broke off the first hour of Half-Life 3, put it in its own game, and made you pay $30 for it. People would be pet. I don't know, I actually, reasonable people would be mad. The people that are sucking on Valve's dick will probably think it's okay. Man, oh man. Oh God, please, please do not make this successful. Because then other people are going to see that this was successful and be like, Whew, you know what? He made a, Kojima made a lot of money doing that. Let's do that too! Here you go, break off first hour, ship out! Break off first hour, ship out! Break off first hour, ship out! If this is successful, I guarantee you this is what the next trend is going to be. Paid tech demos! Paid betas! Puh. Fuck you! Fuck you, Hideo Kojima! you this makes me so mad that this shit is $30 for a fucking hour tech demo this game is fuck this shit fuck this game I don't care how pretty it looks I don't care how well it plays fuck this game this game represents that what is wrong with the gaming industry you are getting less for more Wow! Wow! Good fucking job! Bravo to you, Kojima! You are starting a nasty motherfucking trend in video games. Paid demos. I've gotten more enjoyment out of free demos! I have seen free demos that have had more content and more replayability than this $30 demo you're releasing today. Shame! On you! Shame on you! So, if you are thinking in any way of buying Ground Zeroes, if you have it pre ordered, cancel that pre order. Don't buy this game. Re wait for the year. Wait a year or two or whenever the fuck Phantom Pain comes out. Because I'm telling you right now, they're gonna bundle this shit with Phantom Pain. So that you can play Ground Zeroes to have the prologue to Phantom Pain. And I guarantee you it's going to be $60. You're going to get Ground Zeroes for free. Or wait until it's $5. $5. Then buy that. Then buy Ground Zero. Not Ground Then buy Phantom Pain. You'll get the whole story. Don't pay 
20 or 30 dollars for this i know it is metal gear i know you love metal gear i know you want to go out and support hideo kojima but i am begging you please please do not support this game this game is is this is this is a scam this is a scam this is this is ridiculous 30 dollars for a demo oh my god <sighs> Uh, this is, this, this is so fucking wrong. This is so stupid. Shame on you, Kojima. I am pointing my finger at you. Shame on you. $30 for a tech demo. Get your fucking head on straight, man. Don't ever do this shit again. Don't go out and buy this game. Wait for it to be free and bundled with the Phantom Pain so you can get the full Metal Gear Solid 5 experience without having to waste $30 on a demo. There. Rent done. Don't buy this game. Because if you do, like I said, more companies are going to look at this See that it was successful and start doing that kind of business practice with their shit. You're going to see all these other games that you're looking forward to. First hour snapped off. Here you go. $30, asshole. That's it. End of rant. Just don't support this. Please.